Greetings everyone, welcome back to more Metal Gear Acid. Okay, so if you see my point gains, yeah, I kind of did a little grinding uh, back at the minefield there. So we're going to go to the upper ruins and continue forward. We're running away from Fatty McFat Fat. Follow this road to the west. You'll come to the drawbridge. It's under surveillance by ciphers. Be careful. Right. Head west and make for the drawbridge. Got it. Ciphers, huh? There's a guy, there's a guy. Uh oh. Well, they have 60 life. Oh, this is 50 damage. We have 80. Well, we need to get rid of these. Oh, wait, there's a freaking robot. Alright, let's take a look. There's nothing down there. And yeah, looks like there's nothing to collect up here. What is your sight range? That wall. Now, equip our rifle. I see. Good thing she has a bunch of chaff on her. Next eleven, what we'll do is put one of those. Call it a turn. Alright. So now, oh, it's a critical hits use. Critical hit adds one cost to target. Okay. I think I was doing like 24 damage. Oh, I see. I thought it added one damage per cost. Those one type thing. I mean, it's not a bad attack. I mean, it's a one type use thing. Let's do this. I need to get rid of the guards first and then worry about. Uh, so bad. Oh, well, the cycles. When I get rains, they're gonna freak out.
Almost this time. Come off that cooldown. Okay, she's fine. Screw it. Good, it's moving that way. Alright. Shaft should come off. Save my bacon on that mission. That was that was good stuff. Got a speedy for it. I'll take it. We got a speedy cat. Did you hear that speedy? <laughs> the drawbridge is up ahead. Be quick. FAI is just a stone's throw away. Right. So let's check the single card thing. Nothing there of any use whatsoever. Could have probably bought that uh, Gray Fox card, and I probably should have, but eh, what are we gonna do? You know, I need to check my deck. We got a little time. Just made it kind of a short video. 
I had some card I was wanting to put in. Ah, cost of eight cards. Stink bit needs more of those. So you got the fours to start replacing with eights. And these MGS2 cards, does it tell me? No, it doesn't. I knew which deck that came out of a farm for a little more. I could really use those. Do I have another barrel? Barrel. Okay. So there's 204 cards in the game, and I've got only 95 of them unlocked. I could really use more M4s. You know what? Let's go ahead and grab a couple of uh, GS2 packs. We'll get two. I wanted an M4, and I got another M4. And I got another one! And another M uh, card 8. Okay. So, let's go back in. That in, we'll put that in, and we got to max that and take these out. No, actually, I kind of leave the Famas in. Let's leave that in. I, I like the Nikita, that's a good boss killer weapon for now. What else we got? Maybe take out Mind Detector. That's a good little card to have. Two rations. The front if they can go. It's kind of pointless at this point. That's that's not a card I need, and I mean it's I mean it's a decent movement card. Let's see what else we got. Right up. Yeah, we'll get rid of Olga. I don't need to reload. Okay. Let's take care of that. Now the Teleco. Now one thing I did get, I'm starting to get a. I got three of these M9s. They're not very accurate. I've only got a range of two. But if I get behind them, I can shoot somebody and put them to sleep. It's an option, but I don't have to go with it. Um, I would love to have some P90, but it's just 5.7 ammo. I don't have any 5.7. If this game had come out after uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, oh baby, I think Acid 2 might have? No, no it didn't. So you could kind of set up one character to just feed the other character to keep one character just moving around the battlefield constantly. And you could do that with these ally cost minus eights. I mean, it's a tactic you could use, and actually it wouldn't be that bad because I could basically have one character just running rampage around the map, which would kind of work with her because she could snake carry all these big bulky stuff, and then I could have her just make it snake constant, constant turns over and over. So, I mean, it's a thing. Why have I not put camo on? What in the heck? I forgot I had to solid the snake. Um, what do I want to take off? I'll take a SOCOM off. Actually, I need to get rid of these SOCOMs. Let's get rid of that because I'm not using those anymore. Um, I can get another Marine and maybe another movement card. Let's see what else we got. I can maybe substitute so I can be a move as well as that. Let's get some more useful things. Nah, I don't want Vulcan Rain. Let, let, let's let's reevaluate the deck really fast. Could put the M9s in there. God, it costs seven though. I want my dragon off. <laughs> Did I shoot three times? Oh man, that's 210 damage off that thing potentially. What's the accuracy on it? Oh, it's like 70 percent. I love that freaking gun so much. Hold up, do. There's equipment level by one. Eh. 
How much does Hold'em cost? Six. You know, I'll throw one in there just because bosses, it would, it would help with boss fights. cigarettes majigger. Okay, we'll put in another marine so we get more movement. And then we're gonna put in a oops take it off. Then we got any more USPs I can put on. No. Two more USPs and sec baby. I like to have always two guns that work together that I can use. Once I get Metal Gear Solid 3 packs, you're going to see what I'm going to do, and it's going to be freaking stupid. You see the stiffing. It stops bleeding and loses life. It goes up by 100. It's a good healing item. I can put that in for a ration, but nah. Nah. Hang on. Oh, it costs way too much. You know, I'll slap one of these on because Snake King gives me turns usually, and that's that could be a thing. So yeah, that'll work. Okay, we have reevaluated our decks. So it should be a little stronger now. Let's save it, and I will see you guys on the next one later. <laughs>